Uh, now back here in Western New York, Russell Salvatore had a, held a rededication ceremony at his Patriots and Heroes Park today. It is a positive comeback after a vandalism incident a few months ago, and most Buffalo's Kieran, uh, Keelan Varian was at this <laughs> ceremony. Sorry about that, Keelan. First time okay. we've ever been on camera together, but you have more on this ceremony. It sounds like it was a special day. Right. You know, Lauren, although some people are still upset and disturbed that the park was vandalized, Russell Salvatore kept a smile on his face the entire time time. The turnout today gave him it made him extremely happy. So much so he says today was the happiest day of his life. So you know Lauren with today's event is supposed to share a beautiful message out of a tragedy which the most recent being vandalism happening to the park that happened back in March. Damages are estimated to be a near half a million dollars. 20, 20 year old Michael Sustank was arraigned and charged in connection to the vandalism. It was reported he gave an apology and blamed his actions on a mental illness, but a lot of people don't buy it. On the other hand, Salvatore isn't upset at all. He wants to give Sustank a break, actually. I have no intentions on pressing charges. He's mentally ill or taking care of him. He's getting doctor's care. What are you going to gain by guessing pressing charges? You know, like I said, Something good comes out of something bad, and look at what a day I've got. Doesn't doesn't pay. Two wrongs don't make a right. Right. So to reiterate what Russell was saying, he doesn't want to press charges in fear of something bad happening once again. But when we first thought of the park and how it got Donna Parental to design it, they both didn't expect to see the park get as much respect as it does today. Looks like a great turnout there. We had a lot of people asking for updates on that story, so we right. really appreciate it, Keelan. Thank you so much.